Yeah, 
You sure we'll find Tron's source code here? <laughs> it's not here. Maybe Clue has it with him. Sora, let's look elsewhere. All right. Let me talk to Rinsler. A little heart-to-heart -heart might jog his memory. 
He's a program, Sora. Programs don't have hearts. That's not true. The Tron I remember, he had something. Hey, you used to be called Tron, right? Clue did something to you to mess with your memory. You're a little confused, but that's okay. Come on, remember Tron. <laughs> I don't think Rinsler is quite the friend you remember. He just needs time, that's all. <gasps> Quora! Tron, don't! <gasps> Tron, why? That's what we do. Put the most precious oh. memories in the back of our minds where they're safe. Or in your case, the most precious hearts? Not you again! The memory and heart are tightly linked. Oh. Samus! Rub a few memories together, and you get a spark of emotion. A feeling. But in a digital world, memory does not work like that. Nothing is ever felt. You can hold a thousand, a million times the information. But there is still no heart with which to parse it. Once, my master Ansem found an old system and made a copy of its master control program and used it to serve his own ends. This is the original data of that system. Here, data can be copied. Uh -huh. Memory can be changed and easily uh -huh. manipulated. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tron is a digital entity, so why would he be any different? He obeys the rules of this world. Sora, what about you? Me? Your heart, memories, your data, and your dreams. The bits and bytes that have made up your life so far. Can you say for sure they are not just copies of someone else's? Yes! My memories and feelings belong to me! You had better check. Make certain the box's contents match what's on the label. Since you have been chosen. Chosen for what? You think this is the realm of dreams? But there you are mistaken. Data does not dream. Cannot dream. <laughs> this world is real. You haven't the slightest idea where you are. That you have already wandered off the path. What do you mean? What in the world? Combatant 13 versus Rinsler. <sighs> Greetings, Sora. I've been waiting. Who are you? I am Clue. <gasps> so it was you. You're the guy who turned Tron into Rinsler. Correct. I had to repurpose his code. Well, unrepurpose it. Yes. Under the right parameters, I might. Huh? You have a little item called a Keyblade. 
It can open any lock, isn't that right? Hand it over, and I'll change Rinsler back into Tron. The Keyblade? I... I can't. This is what lights the darkness. A chance to make everyone happy! Ha! <laughs> Flawed reasoning. I'll have to take it by force. Tron! Why can't I get through to you? Fight, Sora! Korra! You're okay! I can't believe it! Yes, I think Tron heard you. Long enough for me to escape. You can do it! You can get through to him! Sora! You have to fight him! But, Korra! How can I...? You have that key! It will bring him to his senses. I'll try! Let's go, Tron!
Deal with you later. I have to retrieve Rinsler. He reached for my hand. Tron is still in there. You and that key have a special power. So do you. Power to make me see it. So, does that mean we're friends? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> What if my memories aren't my own? No. I gotta be like Tron. Maybe we're walking the wrong path, but our hearts will lead us back to the truth. have his poor father worried sick. Hmm. Still, that little fella some miracle. Imagine, Mr. Geppetto's wooden puppet brought to life by the Blue Fairy. She made his wish for a son come true because he's given so much happiness to others. Now Pinocchio needs me to guide him and be his conscience. So maybe one day he can be a real... <laughs> Well, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jiminy. First, you gotta go find Pinocchio. Huh? 
Hey, Jiminy. What's up? Hmm? Who are you? You shouldn't be here, young man. What? Are you okay, Jiminy? Huh? You mean you've heard of me? <laughs> well, I'll be. The name Jiminy Cricket's already spread far and wide. Really? You feeling all right? It's me, Sora. Sora, you say? Hmm. Gosh, I don't think I recognize you. But the name does have a familiar ring. Oh, yeah. In the sleeping worlds, real time does not flow. Unless one restores the world by waking it from its slumber, it will stay locked in a dream forever. Thus, you may encounter familiar faces, but they are just figments of the dream. In actuality, they are sound asleep. Trapped within a world that is also sleeping. What's more, whilst someone may no longer dwell in the real version of a world, dreams may paint a fuller picture and restore what seems to be missing. The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe it's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So how come you said I need to get out of here? <laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other. You've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm, but where was I? Oh, yes, this is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack mules of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora, from my friend Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? Shame on you, Pinocchio. Playing hooky and goofing off in a place like this. I'm sorry, Jiminy. I was going to school till I met somebody. Yeah, uh, two big monsters with big green eyes. Hmm? Oh, you don't say. And then what happened? They, uh, they tied me in a big sack. Oh. Sounds like you were horsing around. But I snuck off when they weren't looking. My nose! What's happened? There. You see where those tall tails will get you? But it's all true. Even the fellow in the black clothes who said to play a trick on Sora. What? Now who was he? I've had just about enough of your fibbing. Hold on. I guess that part was true. <laughs> Tell me, Pinoke, did that man in black say anything else to you? Um, he sure didn't. Well, good. Hey, look at that. That star again. The blue fairy. Why, Pinocchio? What has happened to your nose? Oh, um... Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Sir Jiminy? Well, you see... Uh, uh, your Honor... Uh, 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 Miss Fairy... Oh, please help me. I'm awful sorry. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'll never lie again. Honest, I won't. I'll forgive you this once. But remember, a boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. We'll be good, won't we? Very well. But this is the last time I can help you. <gasps> that 
guy again. Forget him. If I don't find Pinocchio, he'll turn into a donkey like the rest of the boys. Right. Then let me help you find him, Jiminy. Really? I'd be grateful. But how in the world do you know Pinocchio? Oh, uh, um... You gonna make it? I don't know. But didn't you write her code? Some of it. But the rest is just beyond me. She's an ISO. ISO? A whole new life form. Cora is the last ISO. And you created them? They manifested, like a flame. They weren't really, really from anywhere. The conditions were right, and they came into being. For centuries, we've dreamed of a pure existence beyond our own. I found them in here, like flowers in a wasteland. They were spectacular. Everything I'd hoped to find in the system, control, order, perfection, none of it meant a thing. The ISOs, they were going to be my gift to the world. There, good as new. It's going to take a while for a system to reboot. So what happened to your gift? Clue. Clue happened. He was built to create the perfect system, but endless potential can never, ever be fully realized. Clue saw the ISOs as an imperfection, so he destroyed them. He screwed up. No. He's me. I screwed it up. Chasing after perfection. Chasing after what was right in front of me. Right in front of me. Look too hard for one thing, and you miss everything else. And then, the people around you get hurt in the process. Like Xehanort, his single-minded thirst for answers created Ansem. We all have a little of that curiosity in us. So if we're not careful, any one of us could create an Ansem. <laughs> Great! They found us! We've been put on a new course. Goodbye. Quora. Quora! No, wait! She's removing herself from the equation. We can't just let her go. Yeah. No. Hold on, Sam. What about getting you to the portal? You shut them down from the outside. Gora comes first, and we still have to get back your disc. 
Sam, if you chase two rabbits, you won't catch either. If this is a father-son thing, I won't butt in. But we should probably get back that disc at least, before Clue uses it to destroy the outside world. Come on, Sam. Right. Meet me on the flight deck, and get us some wheels. Wheels? What's your plan? I'm a user. I'll improvise. <laughs> Riku, I gotta save Korra too. I know. We will. <laughs> the dish should be somewhere on the throne ship. I saw it dock here earlier. Over there. <laughs> All right. Heal! Ha! You're done! 
Go! Oh. Uh. 
you doing here? To the flight deck. But Clue will be here any minute. We'll never make it. Don't worry. Riku's here to help. This is mine. Had a feeling you'd be here. You! You promised that we would change the world, together. You broke your promise. I took the system to its maximum potential. And now, you see the applications at my disposal. I don't believe it. You can leave this one to me.
I created the perfect system. The thing about perfection is that it's unknowable. It's impossible. But it's also right in front of us all the time. You wouldn't know that because I didn't when I created you. I'm sorry, Clue. I'm sorry. Remember what you came for! My son. Go! Dad! Sam! It's time! No! Sam, it's what he wants. I'm not leaving you! Take her! Goodbye, kiddo. <sighs> Don't even think about it. gone. These gates that connect worlds, maybe when we pass through them, we're challenged and changed. And it's not over. There are more trials ahead we have to overcome. <laughs> but we'll be ready, Sora.
I've turned this castle upside down. Hey, are the other two still out cold? Dylan and Evan are conscious again, but still unstable. They're resting inside. Gotcha. Well, I guess I'll give the castle grounds a sweep. Don't. If they were back, we would have found them by now. Hmm. So do you think they were blasted off to some other world, or what? I highly doubt it. When someone who's lost their heart is recompleted, they should return to the place where it happened. And if that world is unavailable for whatever reason, a refuge is made for them in the realm between, a world called Traverse Town. They would be sent there. Or perhaps... No, look. Okay. The fact is, we're here. We've been recompleted, right? So they should be here too. Plain and simple. I agree, it is strange. Ah, <sighs> what a drag. Could they not have been recompleted at all? Well, you see... Uh... That, forget it. You know what? I'll bring them back myself. Huh? How, exactly? Why do I always get stuck with the icky jobs? Isn't that... Geppetto? Then... this must be...
What's the matter? Huh? Goodness, who, who are you? Riku. Oh, Riku, you poor lad. Seems you were swallowed up by Monstro just like the rest of us. My name is Gippetto, and I'm looking for my son Pinocchio. Pinocchio's gone missing? I'm afraid so. After all my searching, I found him here in the whale. But then he ran off again to who knows where. That sounds kind of... familiar. Mr. Geppetto, let me go look for your son. You would do that? Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Leave it to me. Did you say you were really going to help us find Pinocchio? Hmm? Huh? Jiminy? Huh? That's right. Name's Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. But, shucks, have we met? No. You know, never mind. Hmm, if you say so. Anyway, Pinocchio comes first. Right. Any idea where he went? Well, I'm almost certain he wandered off with a stranger. Can you describe him? Hmm. I remember he was dressed in a black coat. A black coat? He's back again. Thanks. Huh? Well, I'm going with you. Pinocchio's gonna need his conscience, and that's where I come in. 